This is Aaron Fisher, Technology Integration Facilitator for the East Bridgewater Public Schools. And this is an overview of how to use these beautiful, already made mystery pixel art um, activities and how you can manipulate them to suit what you're teaching. So if you are a member of any particular tech groups, I'm in a few of them on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Um, this is a nice one, Teachers Teaching with Tech. And this teacher, Julianne, she um, gives out her link tree quite a bit and she always is updating it with these beautiful mystery reveals. So in this link tree, which I'll give you the link for, um, you can see all of her awesome products. She also has a TPT store, but she has a lot of free um, pixel art and mystery reveal items here. So let's take a look at the penguin mystery reveal that I already have made. It's for Valentine's Day. And you'll notice right away it asks you to make a copy. So I already made my copy. You can click make a copy. And the first thing I did was rename it because in her name, you'll notice it tells you it's the penguins. So I don't want the kids knowing it's going to be penguins. So she immediately gives you the answer key. So this is here. To give this out to the students, though, we don't want the answer key. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all these cells and delete them. And watch what happens. Those penguins are going to disappear. If I just clear those answers out, and you'll notice it takes a little bit, but the penguins disappear. The little heart gif is going to stay. Notice when I put the answer in, 4 plus 7 is 11. I click 11, hit enter, and those um, pixels appear. I can also hit, I tell the students to hit control minus and zoom out to about 70% sometimes even a little more, so you can see the whole image when you're answering it. So for this one, we zoomed out quite a bit. Control minus will zoom out gradually, or you can always use the zoom on the page under view. So now we enter in our answers and this eventually will appear, but let's say maybe these aren't the questions you want. Maybe you wanna manipulate the same picture, but you want different uh, content. So you can go to format, and this is through conditional formatting. So make sure you have your answer cell, the C cell right here highlighted, format, conditional formatting, and notice here's the rule. I'm gonna zoom back in. So this is the rule that will turn all of the 11s, the black pixel. So if I open this up, I can change it to any number. I just simply erase and change it to a number or if I want text, I would simply put open quotation. Let's say I wanted this to be parts of speech, noun, close quotation, and I can hit done. And now notice all these pixels that were filled in before disappeared because I made it not 11 anymore. And now if I enter in the word noun, they appear. So you can use these pixel art images Julian has so many, and you can easily change that content through that conditional formatting to what you may want it to be. So if I were into this red cell, it shows me format, conditional formatting, open that rule, and I can change that 17 to a different number, or I can change it to text. Now, I'm not going to change anything before it. This is a 17, and this is a 17, but that's only because if you look here, this is actually cell C17, where that answer falls. If I look at this one, I want to see the conditional formatting. 16 plus 4 is 20. Format, conditional formatting, I can see that rule here. Now, it doesn't have to line up. The answer does not have to line up with the cell it's in. This one just coincidentally does. You can make it whatever question and answer you want in that conditional formatting rule. And once this is answered fully, you will see those penguins appear. And it goes for any of these others that she has made. And this has become quite the trend. So you can probably find these out there already made and manipulate how you see fit. Thank you.